One of the greatest gifts to an attorney defending traffic tickets is the MUTCD defense. But what is the MUTCD defense? Welcome. My name is David Jolly. MUTCD stands for the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices and is a document issued by the Federal Highway Administration of the United States Department of Transportation. This manual standardizes traffic signs, road surface markings, and signals in the manner in which they are designed, installed, and used. Such specifications include the shapes, colors, and fonts used in road markings and signs. In the U.S., all traffic control devices must generally conform to these prescribed standards. While some state agencies have developed their own set of standards, including their own MUTCDs, these must substantially conform to the federal MUTCD. This rhetoric is actually important because the MUTCD can prove to be a friend to you in court. But you must be very prepared, as it may be you who will have to not only argue the defense, but also educate the prosecutor, police officer, and even the judge. The MUTCD defense can be used for most every moving violation defense that involves posted directions and controlled intersections. Such moving violations include general speeding, school and construction zone speeding tickets, failing to yield or stop, and so on. Let me give you a few examples of how the MUTCD defense can be used. The MUTCD defense contains many little gems, but of course, the dilemma is how do you find these potential legal issues in a book that is over 800 pages long? Well, first, you locate the book, and you can easily do that by clicking on the link in the description below. You can then download the manual for free. Once you have done this, click on the search button and type in your search. Once you have located the area of the book pertaining to your legal issue, carefully read the pertinent parts of this guide. You'll quickly find numerous potential defenses, but let's look at a few quick examples. The first example involves an actual stop sign near Jackson, Wyoming. The police report reads, On July 15, 2020, near the Amangani Hotel in Jackson, Wyoming, I observed a BMW X7 fail to stop at a clearly marked stop sign. All right. When we compare this example with the MUTCD font, it clearly is not the same. We can argue, I guess, if the meaning is the same, similar, or different, but the bottom line is it's clearly not what the MUTCD considers to be a standardized message. This is still an awesome sign, though. The facts in the next example read, the reported vehicle failed to stop at a clearly designated stop sign. The MUTCD clarifies the height of the stop sign in section 2A.18 regarding the mounting height. The MUTCD states in part, the minimum height measured vertically from the bottom of the sign to the elevation of the near edge of the pavement of signs installed at the side of the road in rural areas shall be five feet and of signs installed at the side of the road in business, commercial, or residential areas where parking or pedestrian movements are likely to occur, or where the view of the sign might be obstructed, shall be seven feet. Well, clearly this sign is neither, and it is too short. The third example of the MUTCD defense, also using a stop sign as an example, is a common problem in urban areas. Section 2B.01, Application of Regulatory Signs Standard, states regulatory signs shall be designed and installed to provide adequate visibility and legibility in order to obtain compliance. Signs that are obscured by vegetation and not adequately visible are not in compliance with the MUTCD. Now, there may be better examples, but if you were cited with a traffic sign related ticket, whether that be a stop sign, yield sign, speed limit sign, and so forth, and the sign was obscured by, for example, vegetation, 
be sure you take a good photograph before the vegetation is removed and bring the photo with you to court with this MUTCD reference. The MUTCD defense is a great way to dismiss a ticket in court. It's often underutilized by those representing themselves and even by attorneys. It does take a great deal of work though, but if your goal is a dismissal, it may well be worth the effort. Please click on the link in the description below for your free guide on how to dismiss your traffic ticket and for more videos on how to beat your ticket and dismiss it in court. Please subscribe to this channel.